Hello folks, Tony Irwin here. Coming to you live from Cocoa Beach, Cape Canaveral. Beautiful day here, sunny and warm. Can't beat it. Today we're going to do a little cooking here, a little Cajun cooking. One of the first Cajun dishes I ever learned how to make. Learned how to make this at the Ole store in Northfield, Minnesota, my hometown. And this is an awesome dish and you're really going to enjoy this one. All right, let's get the pan started, get things heated up, get a little oil in the pan here for you. About a tablespoon of olive oil. There we go, that should be fine. Start out with that. And with this dish, this is a dish I like to call um, French Quarter Fettuccine. This is an easy dish to make. It's very simple. You can put in whatever you want. That's the beauty of this dish. And today we're going to be putting in it's going to start with the Cajun Holy Trinity. Onions, celery, and green peppers. Okay, we got that rolling. Boom. All right, looking good. All right, so we got that going. Going to add a little garlic to that. Get that going. Get that flavored up. All right, now we're cooking away here. So we got, got all that working. And this is going to be a really good dish, I can tell you that right now. The one I haven't made for a few years, but one of my favorites. Alright, so that's working away. The best thing about this dish, like I said, you can put anything in you want. Any meats. Today we're going to use smoked ham. I'm going to put that in there for it today. But this is normally something, this dish, the reason why I like this dish is you can use anything you got left over in the fridge. Throw it in as long as you got some pasta, you're good to go. All right, we got the ham in and the Trinity. All right, that's working away, looking really good. And next, we're gonna add the, uh, gonna add, I got some artichoke hearts that I needed to use up. I had a tomato I had to use up. We use all that up today. All right, oh man. Boy, I wish you had smell a vision. You would love the way this smells. This is smelling great. All right, so now the next part, we got all my ingredients in here that I want at the moment. Looking good, yep, 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 yep. So now the next part is the seasoning blend. Now this is nothing magical, nothing crazy, but this is really a good blend. It's about a teaspoon and a half of uh, basil, and then equal parts red pepper, black pepper, and white pepper. Today, myself, I use about a quarter of a teaspoon. You can go more if you want, depending on how hot you like it. I myself, I like about medium hot, so boom, there it is, in there. All right, let's get that mixed up. Oh yeah, yeah baby, this is smelling awesome. Good stuff here, oh boy. Just doesn't get any better than some good old Cajun cooking. I tell you, one of my favorite types. All right, now we got about seven ounces of a, of a cooked fettuccine. That goes in. And get that tossed up here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're rocking and rolling. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. All right. Oh, boy, that smell is amazing. Next, we get our plate. All right. So, this dish though, I learned to make this at the Ole store in Northfield, Minnesota, my hometown. And of all places to learn to make Cajun food at a Scandinavian restaurant. <laughs> kind of funny, kind of crazy. But one of my co-workers worked for Chef Paul Prudhomme back in the day. And he showed me everything that he learned from Chef Paul Prudhomme in three years that I worked with him. And we did some great stuff. And Cajun has actually become my specialty. All right, we're ready to go with this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Like I said, I wish you could smell this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then the ending here, we just top it with a little Parmesan. Hoo-hoo, yeah. And, of course, a little green onion for a topper. And there you have it, folks. French Quarter Fettuccine, yeah baby. Hope you like it, this is awesome. Let's take a test, see how we did today. 
Oh yeah, looks good, smells great. Yep. Mmm. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Easy to make. You're going to love it. And I hope you enjoy this one. And let's keep on cooking. Chef Tony from live from Cocoa Beach, Cape Canaveral. Hope to see you soon.